Every prayer I remember and half remember won't bring you back. Every prayer I try to remember and I am sorry. I am sorry I forgot my prayers a long time ago in another refugee camp hiding another bed, hiding under another bed. I lost my prayers a long time ago in another time and space in another siege because we have been under siege since 1948, since 1967, since 1919, 1914. Yes, and we are still under I only got introduced to the project two days ago and I've seen a few of the videos for the Hope Spoken Broken and I'm so impressed and so excited. I can't wait for everyone to see the videos. Um, the idea of stories coming from Palestine and then hip-hop artists and rappers and spoken word artists responding to them is so strong to me. Um, what I try to do in my own poetry is bring the stories of Palestine to the world. And by that, I don't mean the statistics and the numbers, but the stories of real people, uh, the stories you don't hear about in the news. And I think that's the power of spoken word. So to see this project uh, taking place, bringing stories from refugee camps in Gaza and hopefully from other parts of Palestine, I would hope that it also starts to work in refugee camps outside of the occupied territories. Seeing these stories coming out and rappers who may have never visited Palestine respond to them is going to be so powerful. And I'm looking forward to supporting and I'm looking forward to everyone joining in and supporting. Nice. Looking forward to making your video. Thanks. Yeah. That's awesome. Hopespokenbrother.com But for Hadid, for Hadid give me just a moment of silence, no. I take that back, just give me one moment of sincere resistance. <laughs> sincere resistance. Sincere resistance. So you can hold on to the bit of dignity you have left for Hadid.